Rick off here. Welcome to video number 16 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. Now, to start off this spin demonstration, uh, I'm going to be using a digital tachometer to uh, get an idea of uh, how fast we're going to be able to spin this uh, using this faulty timing method that I've been using. And uh, to do that I need to place a, a sensing strip somewhere on the wheel. Now I can't do that uh, where the magnets are. This has a laser uh, pointer. Uh, when I press the test button you see a uh, red laser light comes on. Now whatever I'm aiming at, if it's in uh, motion, it's going to pick up. But if I spin the wheel, uh, you see if I put it on the magnets, I will get a reading. And uh, that's, that says 1,286 RPM. Now obviously it's not spinning that fast. It's uh, picking up reflections off the magnets. Uh, <clears throat> let me move this back a little further, give it another spin. Now, inside, against the spokes, there's not enough reflection to get a reading. See that? So that's where I'm going to take my reading. I'm going to place the sensing strip on one of the spokes. Like so. Now, if I spin the wheel, I should get a reading. Yeah. It was 44.9. Okay. Now, uh, perhaps that's as fast as I'll be able to go. I might not even be able to go that fast uh, doing it by the hand method and uh, guesswork. It, it's extremely difficult, as I've already said. It's extremely difficult to get the timing right um, doing it this way and uh, what I need is a tracking mechanism and that's what I'll be working on in the coming days I'll probably be taking a short break after this video uh, to continue work on my project and um, I'll be, the first thing I'll be doing is to add a uh, flywheel I'm going to use three quarter inch birch plywood for the flywheel and that's simply going to be a ring that attaches to the bottom edge of the wheel. Uh, it might be a few inches wide and that's going to add some heft and uh, it's going to smooth out the rotations and it's going to help uh, the wheel to spin along nicely. Now. I'm just going to, uh, instead of calling out any north, south, or anything, I'm just going to get this uh, spinning the best I can, and then I'm going to to take a reading. Uh, if I had the tracking mechanism already hooked up, uh, so so that this would track properly, get the correct attraction and repulsion sequences, uh, this wheel would spin up really fast. But uh, I'm sure I won't be able to get it going anything like it would with the tracking mechanism. But I'll do my best. Uh, I'll just do some guesswork here and try and get it going as fast as I can. Then I'll take a reading with the uh, with the strobe. Okay. Uh, so I have the. I want to start with the south of the stator pulling in the north. And there we go. I think you'll see it picks up speed very quickly. And uh, watch that I'm just barely moving the stator. Uh, just moving a very small amount. And I have no idea about the timing right now, but it looks like we're picking up speed. I'm going to check to see if I can locate that strip. It's hard to keep an eye on both things, so uh, 
let's see what I had. Oh, 60 RPM, 60.2 revolutions per minute. That's, you know, roughly one revolution per second. Uh, that's not bad because uh, it only took a few seconds to get it up to that speed, you see. Uh, it shows you definitely the power behind this concept. I think you should all be able to see that by now. And uh, the only thing I need really is to harness this power by adding the uh, flywheel and the tracking mechanism. So like I say, I'll be working on that in the next few days and uh, I'll be probably be taking a break. I, I, may, uh, I may show some more video but uh, I won't try and show me any more rotation effects. I'm already showing you my preferred method and showing you how powerful it really is. And uh, so if I do show any more video in the next few days, it will be something about the build of the um, apparatus. And um, you know, maybe a few more learning discussions. Okay, so at this time I'd like to say thank you very much for watching Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. And I hope you continue to watch and come back soon because there's going to be more. Bye now.